In this movie, we're going to look at how to link objects together using something called parenting. Parenting is really important for character animation, robotics, and other type of animation where you need items to connect together. For this, I'll be using the parenting project from the chapter 13 folder. Basically, we have this knight here, and all these different pieces, as I turn off the visibility, as you can see here, got all these disconnected pieces, and we want to be able to animate them as one. So for example, when I move the right shoulder, when I rotate the right shoulder, I want that shoulder to be able to connect the arm, so the entire arm moves. So we connect these various pieces through a process called parenting. And the way that parenting works is that there is kind of like a master object, the parent. And when it moves, the child object, in other words, the object it's connected to, moves as well. The child can still move independently, but when the parent moves, so does the child. So in this case, we have many pieces from the sword all the way to the shoulders. The uh, shoulder here is going to be the ultimate parent, and then the child of the shoulder is going to be the mid-arm, and then the child of the mid-arm will be the forearm, the child of the forearm will be the hand, and the child of the hand will be the sword. Now before we start parenting, which is actually a very simple and quick process, but we need to get the anchor points in place before we start fiddling with that stuff. So I'm going to click on the shoulder layer. I'm going to hold down the Y key on the keyboard to adjust the anchor point. Now it just so happens that this anchor point's kind of close to the right spot. I'll move it over a little bit more to the right, probably down just a tad, and that looks good there. Next I'm going to click the mid arm, the right mid arm, and the place it should rotate around should be right about there. Next click the right forearm layer. This one's a little bit easier. This anchor point should be the junction that would be the elbow. And by the way, you can test all these to make sure that they work. So I can select the right forearm layer, hit R for rotation, and rotate it to make sure that this looks right. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to undo that. Next, we have the right hand. Its anchor point should be right about there. And the sword's anchor point should probably be where the hand is. Now that our anchor points are set up, we're ready to create links. From my experience, it's best to start with the youngest child. We have the sword that's the child of the hand, that's the child of the forearm, that's the child of the midarm, and so forth. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the sword. So you want to make sure that the parent column is showing. If it's not showing, you could press the keyboard shortcut Shift F4, or you could right-click and select Columns, Parent. To create a parent for the sword layer, I can choose the layer from the drop-down, or I can use this pick whip. This little curly Q here that kind of looks like an upside-down at sign. And what I'm going to do is click on this and drag to the right hand its parent, and then let go. Now if I were to drag to somewhere crazy that didn't make any sense, like over here, we'd get this little like wet spaghetti noodle animation, which is kind of cool. But that lets us know that there is no link created. So again, click the pick whip to the right hand layer. Next we're going to select the right hand layer and create the parent for the right hand layer. So again, click the pick whip to the parent of the right hand, which will be the forearm. Now don't get confused by the layer stack here. We have the stacking order because that's the way we want objects to appear in front of one another. It has nothing to do with parenting. Next, select the right forearm layer and parent it to the right midarm. Now remember, in case you get confused, it's the child that you're creating a parent for. So you don't start with the parent and then look for children. You start with the child and then look for the parent. It's not called the child column, it's called the parent column. So next, let's go to the right midarm and then pick up that to the right shoulder. If we set this up correctly, it should read 7, 3, 4, none, 6. If we were creating parenting relationships for this entire character's body, I would probably then parent the right shoulder to the main torso of the body. But this is good for now. So now if I rotate the right shoulder, the entire arm moves with it. Now I can still rotate the sword by itself, so it still has some autonomy here. There's still some uh, individual controls there. But even when so much as the hand rotates, then the sword, because it's a child of the right hand layer, it will come along for the ride. And actually, now that I look at this, the uh, anchor point should probably bend right at the wrist there, not uh, in the, the forearm. So I'm going to undo that. But again, as you can see, parenting is a great way to create character animation. Can you imagine not having parenting and going in and having to animate the position and rotation of all these pieces without the use of parenting? Now, one other thing about parenting you should be aware of. If I go to the right shoulder and I hit S for scale and I increase the scale, you notice that the rest of the arm, the children layers, get bigger as well, which is quite humorous. And also, position works. So if I move the parent layer, then the other children down the line move as well. 
So be aware there are four attributes carried through the parenting relationship. That is scale, position, rotation, and anchor point. If I were to fade out the right shoulder, let's hit T for opacity and take down opacity, it fades out on its own. So that has nothing to do with parenting whatsoever. Only position, scale, rotation, and anchor point. But oftentimes you want to link together two other properties. For that, we use expressions, and I'll show you how to do that in the next movie.